Howdy guys! Welcome to Camping with Steve. We are continuing the journey and we're heading out through some logging roads back to the main highway and uh, active log haul. Um, we're gonna have to be real careful on these roads because these logging trucks just fly. They're the heaviest load on the road basically and we don't have a radio to tell if they're coming. This isn't a mandatory radio road. Some of them are but this one isn't. Uh, we're just gonna have to really be vigilant, try to keep uh, to the side and hopefully we're not going to encounter a logging truck coming down there so time to hit the logging road and uh, I'll update you guys in a bit and these little bridges they leave all these tires here because they got to get uh, skid steers and track vehicles across so they just lay them all down on the bridge and that way it doesn't damage the bridge happy little creek very happy little creek made it to Belmont. Yes, we're in a campsite, but this is not your typical campsite. This is a wreck site. Uh, the forestry companies, when they build the logging roads through, uh, part of the contract is that they have to build uh, and sometimes maintain these little off-the-trail campgrounds. So it was a bit up the road, we're on Timbasket Lake here. Uh, yesterday was just brutal actually. Uh, right before I uploaded that last video, we were having the worst possible day. Um, <clears throat> and being that, you know, the 15th is our anniversary of our first date, not our wedding anniversary, but yeah, we uh, just woke up with a sore neck. Actually, she had one before we even left. Um, we'd had the video almost uploaded in Jasper, and then the phone overheated, and we lost the upload, and we had to head out here. And the cell phone signals are spotty. We ran around everywhere looking for Wi-Fi. Anyway, uh, I figured I couldn't find my shirts that I brought with me, and I thought all I brought was the hunker down, homemade hunker down shirt. Uh, I've since found the shirts I brought, but oh my, we were we were ready to check into a hotel last night after the first night of camp. So uh, things are going a lot better. We found uh, this great site. I'll take you on a tour down the way. It is uh, probably one of the most breathtaking uh, campgrounds, scenery-wise, uh, that I've been to in my life. And I've been to an awful lot, so we'll take a quick tour uh, from the main road out to the creek right beside us. Uh, it lulls us to sleep, the sound of that rushing water and fresh mountain air. Uh, it's out here, the batteries can really recharge. So. Let's take a peek at what's down there, and uh, then we'll get back to uh, a bunch of other projects for tonight and the dinner. All right, these uh, campsites are, I think there's six in the whole complex here. This is a uh, uh, beautiful wife is having a siesta. It's hot, so the windows are open. We have the screen tent set up here. All of our various camping paraphernalia, the million dollar wood from the million dollar store that I had to buy yesterday. But this little trail, you guys have got to see this. I just can't even believe it. This is the creek in our backyard. And uh, we'll, we'll go on a little further here if the battery is gonna last for me. But wow, this is a very good forest.
My wife calls this her meditation spot. She comes down to relax by the river. And uh, goes out there towards these snow-capped mountains. Beautiful emerald green lake. Oh, guys. I I hate to I hate to show you this stuff because I know you're probably all working and <laughs> I did that for the last year so that I could come somewhere like this but oh my there's no words for what I'm seeing but uh, with that with that note I'm gonna do laundry in the creek. <laughs> I was really planning on cooking steaks tonight, but we ate sandwiches today, and that really filled us up. And the beautiful wife is sleeping. She's had a bit of a sore neck, so that's uh, that's what she's doing. Uh, the steaks will have to be tomorrow, but there's no reason that we can't have a fire. So let's. Uh, get a bit of fire going here. The trick is you gotta, you gotta kind of place the tiger torch right in the wood that needs the most help. Let's hope that goes and it, no, no it won't. Time for a little vitamin, uh, vitamin torch. That'll help. So as you can see, this fire, it's pretty wet wood, alder, poplar, aspen, whatever you call it. Um, it's, it's really fresh, but if you need to give it a quick blast, uh, I use this for inflating an air mattress. And I think that can turn this into something pretty good. Just takes a couple of D cell batteries, well, four D cell batteries, but in order to get a fire rip roaring, a few minutes of the uh, inflator for your air mattress will do the job very nicely. I'm gonna save a little of this juice because the air mattress is low, but uh, that's, that's what we do here. 
Now it's time to scrape up some type of uh, sandwich slash dinner slash something. There's a huge bit of coals in there right now. And I really wish I was cooking a steak on the wood fire. Nothing better than a wood fired steak. Um, hopefully we'll do that tomorrow and uh, there'll be a video on that. But in the meantime, the lowest form of camping meals, I'm actually ashamed to be even doing this on video, but I gotta eat and uh, sandwiches, they're very overlooked. I do a lot of fancy cooking style stuff and I will be tomorrow. However, you know, with glowing embers of campfire and the uh, nice white noise of you know the crickets and moths and and the creek, it's it doesn't matter really what you eat. Like I'm pretty picky generally. As a matter of fact, I typically, I only want to eat uh, buns that are made at a bakery and that are made that day. But, with camping, a very simple ham sandwich by the fire. Don't know if it needs any more torch yet, but Pickles make everything better. Like, this is the worst cooking video you've ever seen from Steve. And, uh, yeah. As you can tell by now, this is not bushcraft camping. This is, uh, kind of pretty relaxed, comfortable camping. I don't think there are many people out there that will be able to bring their spouses who may not be campers. Uh, mine is, fortunately, but she is still not quite the camper where you can go out into the wilderness with a tarp and a can of beans. That is not her type. So, going to hunker down with this sandwich and uh, coil up in the bed, uh, watch the fire for a little bit before then. But thanks guys, uh, next stop, we're here for another night, but the next stop after this. Uh, is Vancouver Island and it's going to be a great adventure so thanks for tagging along with us thanks for not going to some better channel that does cooler stuff but uh, we're, we're just camping out of the truck and uh, hope to uh, hope to keep guys updated as much as possible we're looking at a couple of videos a week over the next uh, month here so thank you so much for watching and the comments I read all of them I try to reply as much as possible and uh, don't feel offended if I don't reply to your comments but uh, I, I I will eventually when I get some Wi-Fi anyway Delicious town. Thank you guys so much.